Johnny Manzano, American Hearts Radio, dedicated to release Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. America POWA in Afghanistan. Let's bring him home. God bless our men and women fighting for our freedom. On AmericaHeartsRadio.com. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to the Harmony Talent Spotlight of the Independent Artist Web TV Show. My name is Mike Aloya, and uh, I'm so happy to be here this month. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've got a great lineup of artists, and I have met uh, these artists and worked with them. And, uh, you know, I have stories behind a lot of the artists, and these artists have worked um, in harmony with us here at American Hearts Radio. And, um, and the ones that I have met, I'm uh, trying to get some work for as well. <laughs> so any buyers out there that have festivals, concerts, uh, any type of events, fundraisers, give us a call at 904-229-8150, and Harmony Booking will tailor fit a variety showcase for any event nationwide. And uh, that's or visit our website at www.harmonybooking.com. And uh, this first artist... I'm going to spotlight tonight is uh, actually a very close friend of mine. And Pete has been with me since the beginning when I first created the Rock and Comedy Crew uh, back in the day. I had a television show at Cypress Records, a showcase of talent on Comcast. And me and Peter Hefty and Gary Spring and Billy B and uh, a lot of other great artists, man, and comedians, we opened up for rock bands. And... I had uh, like six rooms going on at that time with the uh, TV show, and Pete actually was one of my first uh, DJs on the radio station. We did the uh, Peter Hefty and uh, Humor Hour, the Hefty Humor Hour, and we had a great time doing that, man. And I remember at Christmas time when we were broadcasting live, his family was all snowed in up there in Wisconsin, and they were all huddled around the radio listening to the show. You know, that's what it's all about, you know, touching those lives and your friends and family that believe in you and are out there listening and watching you. And Peter Hefty and Justin, they are America's hippest ventriloquist. And Pete actually has a lot of different friends as well that a lot of people don't know about. And Pete actually creates a lot of puppets. And he uh, has worked with a lot of great, great talent over the years. J.J. Kale, he's opened up for. He's actually worked with Loretta Lynn. He's worked for uh, many, many great artists. And hopefully here in the near future, we can launch a new show with Peter Hefty on our web TV um, and bring all his friends uh, to the table. Those are my prayers. And Peter, uh, my prayers are out there for you and your family. And God bless you, my friend. Uh, you have been a road dog in the comedy world for close to 35 years. And this man has paid his dues. And uh, i tell you what, he is a great talent, one of the best, and one of the most greatest friends I've ever had in the world. This is a clip of Peter Hefty and his friend Hoodoo doing a little bit of Ray Charles on American Arts Radio. Rock and roll. So how are you, do? Oh, I'm doing good. I am doing really good. Well, we were talking about channeling before. Do you channel the energy from someone from the past into the present? Oh, yes. Of course, it's a show. Yes, of course it is. And I'm going to show you a show right now. Where are you going to channel? Watch this. Take off my turban. Take off your turban? Yes. Okay, I'll take off your turban. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, I know what you want to do. He wants to do this, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to take off his turban and do a little bit of somebody from the past. Oh yeah, children. God bless y'all. Georgia, Georgia. No peace at town. Just another song. Georgia on my mind. Just another song. Georgia on my mind. Oh yeah, God bless y'all now. Thank you. 
play this thing called love. Well, I can't remember when I threw it all away, but I'm holding on to what they used to say. They said true love's not a secret. You know loud and clear, and you won't have to hide it. You won't feel any fear. True love's not a secret. You know loud and clear, and you won't have to hide it. You won't feel any fear. Whoa, whoa. that runs on canopy 
enjoyed that that was a wonderful group and a wonderful lady i've actually met her at jerry farber's side door in, in uh, buckhead georgia and uh, she is a wonderful wonderful girl her group is very inspirational her cd i've listened to several times and there's uh you know the cover song of the album change i mean that's a fantastic tune which i'll end up spotlighting again on the harmony talent show Thank you so much for tuning in. That was Aviva and the Flying Penguins. And uh, Aviva, you rock, darling. And uh, if I've got anything to do with it, I'm going to really push to get you out there. I think the world needs to, to see you live with some, some big headlining acts. She actually contacted me uh, this morning on Facebook. It was uh, very, very grateful that we threw out the poster to spotlight her and her group. And uh, those songs you just listened to and those videos you watched were very very cool uh cannabis car and true love's not a secret here on the harmony talent show this next uh this next guy uh i've actually met um over the phone and we haven't met in person yet but this guy goes out and uh he's an old codger man he's in chicago and uh he's out there singing the blues and doing his thing this is Mr. Herbert Knight. God bless you, Mr. Knight. Here's a spoonful of some rhythm and blues at American Arts Radio. Rocky and roll. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Future Shock. Introducing a man who needs no deduction, nor does he deserve one. A man who brought you such hits as the million dollar seller, Surfing Shark. The thousand dollar seller, Morg. The hundred dollar seller, Leprosy Queen. And as soon he lost $365 on, I am in with the Zen crowd. That's right, he's back, he's bad, he's black, he's glad, he's right here with us tonight. He's the hardest working. In Lavosia, Georgia, let's bring that right now, Daryl W. Rawls! And this be the bad, 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 super bad, ha ha, this new orchestra. Now we're from Atlanta. And it big A, we can slip as good as we crawl. Good God of money, y'all. Oh, I feel so funky. Let's bring those fucking home bars in. Fancy home, play a hug. Good God, hot pants. Well, got a new dance. Some people have tried. The ones that can do it. The name of the dance is suicide. Hit me, man. Wow! Hold out your hands and ball up your fist. Bring the razor right down on your wrist. Just slip the rope on over your head. Get into it till your face turns red. Just slip it on your neck. Put your head right through it. Hang on in there. I know you can do it. Good job! Wow, wow. Spin that. Shut up. 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 Shut I think we better put up your head one more time. Good God. Oh, I feel funky. I feel so funky. Mm. Let's shoot it one time. Oh, cheap gun. Let's shoot it two time. Oh, let's shoot it three time. Let's shoot it four time. Get the drummer some. Wow! Now roll out your wheel and close the garage. Get the key and click on the dodge. We pull your Volvo, hit the car will do. And breathe the air till your lips turn blue. Good God! Wow, wow! Skin back. Let's 
circuit mr daryl rhodes that was uh that was back in 1977 uh he's out of atlanta georgia man that was him with the haha Vishnu orchestra on the james brown future shock show it was on wtbs and the uh you know they were paying a tribute to the godfather of soul <laughs> I tell you, Daryl, I can't wait to see you, man, when I'm up in Atlanta next month. And uh, we got a lot of big things in store, a lot of things behind the scenes that I really can't discuss right now. I hope you're enjoying the show, man. My name is Mike Aloya, and any of these artists that you're really enjoying and you'd like to have them on your event, uh, function, fundraiser, concert, festival, Give us a call, 904-229-8150, 904-229-8150. Peter Hefty, he's a fantastic act for any venue, along with Aviva and the Peng Flying Penguins. Aviva and the Flying Penguins, what a great act, man. They'll, they, they will definitely, definitely entertain all of your guests in all of your venues. And, uh, in fact, Aviva and the Flying Penguins, uh, you can go ahead and uh, purchase that that album. Just get with them on Facebook. It's off the Painted Truth album, released December 21st, 2012. And it's a really great album. Now I'm going to keep the uh, keep the ball rolling here with a uh, really cool uh, <laughs> really cool guest tonight. Actually, two of them. This was an interview that took place uh, that I like to share with you guys, and it's. Uh, from, from actually two of my best friends in the business, uh, Mr. Brian T. Shirley and Enos Mohammed Bubba, the redneck Muslim. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Brian. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Enos? I'm doing very, very good. I am on the edge of fantastic. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, we are live. Here on American Hearts Radio, Google Plus Hangout. This is our first interview and our first hangout together, Mr. Brian. I love you so much. Well, thank you, Enos. It's wonderful to be here. Love the uniform, by the way. Well, thank you. Yes, I got it from the dry cleaners. It is, it, 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 I feel very dry. Yes, you should. That's what they do there. Um, how, how is your uh, American Hearts show going? What's that? I did I hear you? I said, how is your uh, show on Harmony Booking, American Hearts Radio? How is this going? Oh, the magic of Motown radio show is very, very good. Yes, I love spinning those those timeless tunes of Motown. I love the Motown sound, baby. That's what I do. It's all about the love. And do you listen to the Motown music? Yes, I do. I like some R&B and some funk, so uh, yeah, definitely uh, love that show. Yes, we Good were show. Playing. We just got done uh, listening to some Jackson 5 and some Isley Brothers, and I play the, the Motown stories. They're in different parts at the end of my show, and you know, I really, really enjoy doing Motown because... Because when I was a little boy, I used to, to be in the desert with my transistor radio, you know, and I'd be jamming and doing the moonwalk in the desert with my camel Irma. <laughs> That's good. Uh, hey, speaking of Motown, and this is pretty serious, uh, Enos, I just saw, you know, the, the, the Motown sound is coming back. I don't know if you've seen some of these uh, guys that are doing it now, but this guy, Mayor, uh, I saw him live in concert here in Charleston. Mayor, I forgot his last name, but he had that song, The Walk. I don't know if you've heard it. But, I uh, heard that. I love when yeah. you send me that. I will play it. Is there a video with it? Uh, yeah, you have to play the uh, clean version. But uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> the, radio, the radio edit, it's a great song, and it's, it's Motown. It's a white guy doing Motown sound. I saw the whole concert, and uh, it's fantastic. I got to tell you, it was really good. We'll send that song to the dry cleaners so they can clean it up for us, okay? I sure will. You got it. And then we will spin it. Listen, I was wondering, I am missing my camel, Irma. 
And, you know, I miss her very much. You know, I got her half price because she has a half a hump. And, you know, I got her at the used Camelot, which was a really good deal. But the only thing I got in the mail was I think she has a new job and she's moonlighting with Geico. Yes, you know, it is hump day. Yes, Irma is working for Geico. And she looks like she has some boyfriend named (laughs) Philip. Well, if you do find her and get her back, there's some money to be made there because she's those commercials are big now, the Hump Day commercials. So you might be in the money, Enos. Well, she, she as long as she starts paying rent, I'll be happy. We have suspicion right. she ran off with her boyfriend camel named Philip. Yeah, she Wait. ran off with Philip. I wish they'd come back and maybe we can do some camel races with my midget quadruplets. Yes, it. yes. That was an amazing race I saw the other day. I tell you what, BTS on the road, we'll go look for the next time I take the uh, crew out. And, uh, yeah, I say crew, it's just me and the camera. But uh, next time we go out, we'll look for them. Well, I would love to ride with you one of these days on the BTS on the road. Maybe we do a special event, you know, and then I come out and, 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 and greet everybody, and we can get people's reactions to the redneck Muslim in America. Yeah, I think that would be great, but uh, I just got to ask if we do that, that you point yourself the other way, if you know what I mean, and yeah. you're going to like something. <laughs> well, you know, the last time when I was driving down the road, I got pulled over by the state trooper, and then, you know, he, he told me to get out of my van, and then he started to beat me, and I said, please don't beat me, you're making me homesick. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, he was trying to, you know, he was trying to give you a taste. He knew you were, you know, homesick, right? So he was trying to give you a taste of uh, American, you know, greetings, I guess uh, you could say, you know. Well, it brought back a lot of fond memories, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do have a couple of questions for you, uh, specifically. Uh, well, one about the virgins, uh, you know, the 72 virgins. Uh, number one, I would think it would be 69, but we can discuss that off the air. Uh, and the metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> metaphor, meter two. I don't know. Uh, the other I, I thing, believe yeah. that's a complete misunderstanding, and it may be a, a typo, okay? We're supposed to have said 72 Virginians. <laughs> Virginians? Not West Virginians, just Virginians, yeah. right? Okay. Virginians. They're very nice people. Uh, well, that that kind of answers my second question because I was thinking 72 virgins, it doesn't have an age in there. I mean, you could have a virgin that's like 72 <laughs> or, you know, a virgin that's, uh, you know, 92. So, uh, you know, what if you get up there and you find out they're all, you know, uh, twice your age? I mean, is that is that heaven or hell? What do you well, think? No, I don't discriminate against age. You know, everybody is. <laughs> is young at heart, you know, it doesn't matter how long you live, but, you know, we all grow old, regardless of all of that, but, you know, you are, you are my first Google Plus virgin, you broke my Google Plus virginity on the Google Plus hangout. Oh, my God, and it was painless, thank goodness. <laughs> you funny man, you, you do comedy, don't you? <laughs> so, well, I try, well, I try, as a matter of fact, I got a big announcement that I'm making on uh, the BTS radio show today. I'll tell you guys, but you can't tell nobody else, you know. I'm not telling anybody, Um, but we are in front of hundreds of thousands of people right now. I'll stretch it down. I'm sure they can all keep it quiet. But I found out last night, and I'm firming it up today. I can get the information today, but it looks like in June I'll be going to Japan. Oh, you're uh, crazy. You're going to bring uh, radioactive. I hope you bring a radioactive suit. <laughs> no, no, I think God did not come out until something. July. No, that's me. Anyway. Um, well, you don't have to worry about your hair falling out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I yeah. do have that advantage. I love you, Mr. Brian. <laughs> but anyway, you heard it here first. Uh, well, that's awesome. First, yeah. Uh, you don't keep it he, down, down low. Yeah, keep it down low because i got to tell my listeners on the BTS radio show today about it. Nobody knows. My, my dad doesn't even know. I haven't even told any of my family yet. But, uh, yeah, I just found out. I'm getting the uh, doc on it today. He's sending me the, you know, the the uh, contract and everything today. But uh, I'm just excited. That'll be June, a week 
uh, out there. I'll be leaving like the 12th or something. I'll come back the 22nd. It's almost 10 days uh, by wow. the time you travel. Well, yeah. that's going to be unbelievable. You, you know, I used to smoke some stuff in Afghanistan that was called, was called Chinese. And, and oh. that, me that, that was what like people in Asia's eyes are smoking. <laughs> Grandpa told me a story about the day that I was born He was finishing up the last load of the corn he said you called and said that it was time Your first grandchild would soon be mine But I never got to know you I never got to meet you Cause you were only in this picture book And all I see is the way you Someday I'll meet you in heaven, greet you. Until then, I've got this picture. Until then, only this picture of you. Bye. 
We should have had an ending worked out. That was where it was, though, right? We tag it, <laughs> you tag it three times, and then the fourth one. So how are you? I'm doing good, senor. How are you? Your name is Salvador Off the Wall? Si, senor. Is that your real name? No, he's a stage name. What's your real name? Salvador On the Wall. You look awfully red. I know. It's the joke, senor. I'm very embarrassed to do these. Well, you've been to Brazil. You've been to Puerto Rico, to Spain, to Mexico. You've even been to Cuba. Don't forget Cuba. You like Cuba? Oh, yes. What's your favorite part of Cuba? Downtown Miami. I think downtown Miami's kind of rough. I know. The crosswalk signs say walk and hard ass. Listen, uh, I have to tell you something. There's an interesting scent in the air today. It's Antonio Banderas. Well, that's right. Antonio Banderas has got that aftershave lotion and cologne. Are you wearing some? No. I have been told I just smell like Antonio Banderas. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Peter Hefty and his talking mask. Uh, before that, it was a double shot of Miss Jessie Brown, and that was uh, her performing her version of Fire by Bruce Springsteen, and also her great song and video uh, picture book, and that brings back a lot of memories, and I've got the great memory of meeting her and her husband and her whole crew out in Orlando, and uh, we had a great, great time out there uh, doing a gig. And I thank the Lord for all these great people that I've met in my life and all these wonderful family members that I have in the entertainment business because it is like a big family, man. And that's what I'd like to do is bring the Harmony talent together, the family of entertainers to entertain the world through American Hearts Radio Entertainment Network. I thank God for my executive producer, Mr. Bruce Shepard, for helping me tonight. And, uh, and his wife, and I thank everybody behind the scenes working hard to make this the best network the world has ever seen. I'm going to leave you tonight with one of the greatest artists that's out there working hard. I spotlight him just as much as I can on this show, and it's because he is my brother, Mr. Marty Triplett, and he is like blood to me. And he's from Louisville, Kentucky, and this is filmed at live at the Meade County Fairgrounds. This is Bloodline by Bone Gin. See you next month. Rock and roll.
American Hearts Radio wants you to be a part of our family. Affordable rates, live worldwide radio broadcasts, live events and web TV show productions. Tune in. You'll like what you hear. Download our apps from Nobix for Android and BlackBerry. We also have apps for Android on Google Play. It's also available on the iPhone and iPad stores. We honor our U.S. troops, veterans, first responders, MIAs, and POWs. We are family-oriented, bringing the hearts of America together by streaming live radio and web TV shows from coast to coast, supporting independent artists, and spinning timeless music. We will create commercials for your business that will be placed on live radio shows and web TV daily spins and reruns, as well as creating the graphics that will appear on all social networks and our website. As a supporter of our radio web TV network, you will be invited on our local web TV shows in Atlanta, Georgia to promote your business. You will also receive free tickets to any other live event that American Hearts Radio LLC produces. In comparison to traditional advertising, our rates are very affordable and offer a larger audience. Every client's advertising plan should include a way to drive potential buyers to your website, and AmericanHeartsRadio.com does exactly that. Be a part of our family bringing the hearts of America together. Please contact us. We thank you for your support. Become a part of our family of supporters today. Call 904-229-8150. That's 904-229-8150. Call today at 904-229-8150. Please visit us at www.americanheartsradio.com.